what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to restore uh, ribbons and the tools in civo 3d so let's say that uh, you've just opened up your civo 3d application and then you realize that uh, all the tools and the uh, ribbons have disappeared and you don't know how to reset uh, reset it back how to how it was so the first step that you need to do is to use uh, a shortcut try and use a shortcut in order to uh, to recover your ribbons and the uh, toolbar so the shortcut is to press down and hold control and then press zero just like that and we'll see that uh, <clears throat> you've just recovered your ribbons and the toolbars so <clears throat> if that doesn't work another step is to let me if you want this one to also disappear just press down uh, control and then press zero again and also everything disappears <clears throat> so if you're in this blank uh, uh, working space and then you want also to recover with using a command you can type a ribbon in the uh, command bar just type in uh, ribbon and then <coughs> hit enter and then all of a sudden you realize that uh, your ribbon has come back and then let's say uh, for some reason that doesn't work is now when you can resort to resetting your civil 3d and in order to reset your civil 3d uh, at the topmost uh, left corner of the uh, civil 3d application uh, click on this uh, icon <coughs> i don't know if it's called menu menu icon or something just click on this uh, drop icon uh, and then uh, you'll see this uh, two selections that's options and uh, exit civil 3d choose uh, options and then this kind of uh, options window will pop up and then just below it will be able to see this uh, uh, a bunch of uh, tabs but go to profiles go to profiles tab and then uh, click on reset click on reset will get this kind of uh, a warning just click yes but uh, for my case I'm not going to click yes because uh, I have some projects that I'm currently working on and I don't want to lose uh, any of the uh, I don't want to lose the settings that I've already done uh, re currently so I'm just going to click no but for your case just click yes and then uh, just click cancel and then uh, let me just we said if you want to the shortcut to, res, to uh, restore everything uh, the toolbars the uh, ribbons just to press down control and then while still pressing down control uh, click zero and if everything appears back so let's say for some reasons you we'll need to be able to see uh, for this case I'm not seeing my uh, menu bar so in order to, re to restore your menu bar uh, under this uh, workspace or something go to this most right uh, down arrow I don't know how to call it this one here just click on it and then scroll down uh, to the second uh, last bottom uh, you'll be able to see this show menu bar click on it and you'll be able to recover your menu and you can see now we have uh, the parcel, the grading, everything else uh, have been recovered. And le let's say that uh, you want to add uh, uh, some toolbars, and you are not to be able to see. Let's say like uh, this, uh, this one here. This uh, is called measure tools, or something. I think it's measure measurement tools. Uh, you want maybe to you don't have it, and want, you want to add it uh, on a screen. In order to do that, uh, just go to view in the menu bar, go to view, and uh, on the rightmost of this ribbon, you should be able to see these toolbars. Just click on toolbars and then uh, 
choose the second one as civil so you if you hover if you hover over the autocad you'll be able to see now all the toolbars that are inside the civil 3d so you can now click on any that you want so that it can be it can be included on your uh on your civil 3d application let's say that i want to uh i want to add uh, this uh, render you can now see that uh, once you click on it uh, the that two particular tools now appears on your screen and you can be able to actually use it to work on your project so guys uh, that's all for this tutorial uh, if you have if you have any question just uh, uh, leave a comment uh, and uh, remember to leave a like for this video and I'll see you in the next tutorial.